the question you have to ask yourself, did he get touched? Touched. Touched. Right, we're in, we're here. Hello. Welcome to Attached Line Rant. This is episode 101. The question you have to ask yourself is, did he get touched? Now, if he's got touched, my point is, has he been touched? If he's been touched, he's a foul. Hi, I'm Mitchell Gann. Whether I'm in the UK, Australia, Canada, Costa Rica, Timbuktu, I listen to Winnish. I listen to a touchline run. That's ATR. Yeah. Joined again by CSK Safari Gardens captain Jordan Lloyd to reveal some bit of clothing. You know, that's going to be exciting. These shirts are coming out. We're talking about Arsenal versus Spurs, the North London derby. We've got a little bit about gambling as we visit Alex's gambling corner. We're going to talk Everton versus Wolves, and then I've got a game. Play yeah, the music. Play the music. Nothing this time next year. 24 hours to the transfer deadline. Oh, you can tell him that and it's Fry's last chance to strengthen his squad for the relegation battle ahead. Well, you showed me today on Twitter that you, you sent us a tweet and it's the Alexis Sanchez Henrik Mikatarian transfer now was... looks like the worst deal in history yeah. because it yeah. hasn't worked out for a single person involved in that deal. I think Inter Milan are going to win the title this year because Conte does not come in and mm. lose. Conte comes in and wins, and yep. he did so at every single club. He... Next on his wanted list, the Wickham striker, Miguel de Souza. Oi, oh, oh, you, mate. Oh, nice. Hope your goals don't put us down. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? He's in for some hard bargaining. Right, so as we said at the start, we are welcome, you know, we're welcoming again onto the podcast Jordan Lloyd, CSK Safari Gardens captain. This year, we are very proud, well, for the next five year five contract, five year contract, five year contract right, we signed. Is. And we're wearing the shirts proudly. Right now, proudly, right now. So if you're only listening to this, go over to YouTube or get on our Twitter and you mm. will see the kits themselves. Can I buy one? Can you buy one? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, oh, the shirts look fantastic. I, I think they're brilliant. I genuinely do. I'm not just saying it. I think they're, they look the part. They look amazing. They're definitely in our history. They are uh, mm. definitely our finest shirt. Locally made, our uh, founder, Steve Day, his auntie and uncle run mm -hmm. Quick Stitch, who have always done our shirts. And they're brilliant. Quick turnaround always. Always do a class job for us. And they're big supporters of the club. And we're big supporters of them. Also, Quick Stitch. Yeah. Quick stitch. Yes, Dramatic. Right. It is the North London Derby. Can I start this by posing a question, please? Sure. This weekend is Arsenal versus Spurs. I would suggest, if I looked at Arsenal season, and you asked me to describe a noise mm. for season so far, my noise would be this. Hey, oh, hey. That's my noise for Arsenal. My noise for Spurs would be, hey, oh. Do you agree? That's quite a... What a visceral description. Did you do you agree with those noises? I think genuinely, um, I think people listening would be going. Ah! I think the second one was one of the most brutal things I've ever heard. But so that's that, ah, oh. Champions League final last season. Yeah, this is what yeah. I mean. That's the ah, he's still on but, the ah. and then no. I got friends they who are Spurs fans, Bruce. and <laughs> it is expected that they go through a lot. It's like an existentialist yeah. Tottenham Hotspur Look, there is a reason. That That's why it happens. And now with Arsenal, it's sort of, everyone needs drama in their life, so there's time and drama. So there's a graph there. Yeah. It's going to go up and down. It's going to sway. This is immediate. It'll probably it's, just drop There's a the reason end. the term Spursy is in the dictionary. If they're seven games in and they're ten points behind City and Liverpool, then no I, 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 can, I can see Spurs diving. We're talking about margins. Like That could have been a lot different if, if those decisions went. Luck, weirdly, it had Mike Dean on the mic. So, hmm. chaos reigns. Can't ask for a better game for Spurs to bounce back. It's going to be spicy. Back. Yeah, everyone's going to be if they, if, motivated. If, if they had someone had said to them, right, in this, in this, within a week, you play Newcastle and Arsenal, you're only going to get three points. Yep. They, the Arsenal game. You know, so you are, say, yeah. are you saying Spurs or are you saying Arsenal? To round this set. I am going for... Spurs win, away Spurs win, I think 2-1. Arsenal win, they have to. Arsenal win, I think, I I think, my head says Arsenal. I genuinely wanted to say Spurs, but my head is saying Arsenal. I'm going to say Arsenal, I'm going Arsenal, but I, I genuinely thought I would predict Spurs, but at the last minute I went, I think David Luiz might be integral. 
Oh, I'm saying Spurs. Way. He's reminded me of Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm changing my mind. Either way. Who's talking, your man? Yeah. I think really we're looking at 8.50, 9.50 and 10.50. No, no, no. You, you, you ain't going to get that. Fucking hell, are you sure? But you ain't going to get that. I'm desperate for you, but I couldn't be nowhere near that. First year, 5.50. Second year, 6. Third year, 6.50. Plus 10 grand for 30 goals, all competitions, each season. Supposing you have a survival bonus. You love that, survival bonus. That's a yeah. new one. I'll fucking love it. How much? We've got eight games. Yeah. How Ten, much? 10 grand. How much? Ten. How much? Ten. It's got to be money well spent. It is. Five. You drew the first and you're going to draw the last. Ah, oh, fantastic. I'll go for this one. That one. Do you show it to the camera and read it? I can indeed. Please. Big issue. Gambling. Hot topic, big topic. Do you know what? I'm just fed up. I am fed up. Shall I tell you what? Aki not come in. I'm at the point now where I just don't know what Be Gamble Away actually does. I Are honestly for a long time insights? thought it was just a phrase. So it champions it. It is in partnership sort of with the FA, but you don't see much of it. It hasn't got many followers on Twitter because no one's going to follow that. They, no one's going to bring that up. So I just don't think enough is being done. Adverts which just get posted to us and perpetuated us because we are in the demographic where we do gamble a lot and we do like football. So does football have a gambling problem? Yeah, massive. And there needs to be more of a presence. Get like a role model who maybe who's recovered from that and know the dangers of it, or even someone fresh face to explain the issues there. Or is you could go right? the other side of it and actually break down how much mm -hmm. is actually lost and tell stories of those those uh, football players or whoever has suffered with gambling and actually show the amount the sheer amount of money which actually get could potentially get lost and take responsibility in a better way than that. Give them the platform to be a role model and don't stick betting odds next to them, give them a platform and teach people what signs to look what, out for. If you look at it every day, look, in, look into any bookies when you walk past it, is it a happy place? Is, is it really? Look at that and consider how immoral it is to portray a different glamorous lifestyle when it comes through to advertising, to consider it's the best thing in the world and you need to be doing this because everyone else is. Yeah. I think that mentality needs to change. Berry FC have gone, have been taken out of the football league they've gone from the football league and it's horrendous and the amount of money as we talked about in the last section that is in this game through sponsorships and tv rights money and not a single person involved in this game could save barry is it's a disgrace imagine waking up one morning and you know your club doesn't play football league anymore they were they were cleaning the stands ready for a game this weekend yeah at four o'clock in the afternoon and then a day later no, you're not in English football. It's us. It's awful. R.I.P. Berry FC. And save your engine from grime, dirt, and pollution. Unipart filters are the only filters recommended by British Leyland. Time for Luke's game. I've never done a game before. Is it called Luke Warm? No, it is called Get Your Shirt Together. Which club was sponsored by Your Noise Can Be CSKA, Yours Can Be ATR? Which club were previously sponsored by Ty? T Y. The Beanie Bear Company. CSKA? Oh, Portsmouth. Port Port Portsmouth. Which West London club? So you can now choose to answer this question or pass it to Skinner. Okay. Which West London club was once sponsored by Classic FM? Was it QPR or was it Fulham? Queen's Park no. Rangers. No! Yeah. Oh. Which West Midlands club was sponsored by HomeServe? A Warsaw-based company that offer emergency home repairs. I'll pass, pass. Um, Mr Skinner. Do you want the question ATR. again? West Bromwich Albion. West Bromwich Albion. Which La Liga side, this is my favorite question, so FYI. Which La Liga side was sponsored by Columbia Pictures, who would regularly change the sponsor to promote an upcoming movie, nice, leading you. them to have, amongst others, 
white chicks and hitch across the front of their shirts. Amazing. Was it Deportivo or Atletico Madrid? Now, do you want to answer that question or do you want me to make Jordan answer it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him play. Don't think it is Deportivo, so it's Atletico. It was Atletico Madrid. Yes. Which what Yorkshire-based club were once sponsored by Black Death Vodka? Was it Barnsley or Scarborough? Do you want to answer or pass? Black Death Vodka. I'll answer. Answer. Barnsley. I would have said Scarborough. Oh, Alex gets the oh. point. Scarborough. It was banned by the Football League. Which band sponsored Clyde Bank FC in the early 90s? Was it Wet 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 or The Proclaimers? Do you want to answer or pass? I'd like to answer that yep. as the proclaimers. Jordan gets the point. It was wet, wet, wet. Which Italian giant was once sponsored by Poo Jeans? Was it Milan or Roma? Jordan, do you want to answer or do you want to pass? That is Poo Jeans. I will answer. Answer. Who are you going with? Roma. Oh, Skinner gets the oh. point. It was AC Milan. Which German club was sponsored by Mr. Lady? Was it Hertha Berlin or was it FC Nuremberg? Do I have to answer? Well, you can answer or you can pass to Jordan and make him answer. I'm going to say Nuremberg. He takes an early, he takes a late lead. <laughs> can you see Com these? Confidence. <laughs> he takes a late Confidence. lead. Which former FA Cup winners were sponsored by Danish processed meats company Hafnia, despite the company not selling their product in the UK? Was it Wigan? Or was it Everton? I'm Are you going to answer or pass? I think it was Fuigan. <gasps> no, I know it. It's Everton. Jordan gets, <laughs> makes it for all. Well, now, at first person to name the club. Well, this is the only way we can do a tie break because I've got some notable mentions, okay? If your buzzer sounds, a CSKA and ATR. Mm -hmm. They are your buzzer noises. If you know the answer, okay? First tie break question. Who were once sponsored by Flamingo Land? CSK. Hull. Jordan wins it. <laughs> <laughs> that was Get Your Shirt Together. So that's your only sticking point. Done. <clears throat> Welcome aboard, my man. Cheers. Brilliant. Thanks a million. Thank Scott you, man, young Mary. So to the fat in the blue blazer. <laughs> <laughs> Great, mate. Thanks a lot. Goodbye to listeners and viewers and such and such. We'll see you hitting up them socials, won't we? We'll hit up them socials this week. Uh, thank you again to Jordan Lloyd from CSK Sophia Garden. Sponsor. Proudly friend. sponsored by S for the next five years. Five years. Yeah. Sick yes. on option. Legit. Um, you keep a lookout on at a touchline rant because you could very well be given the option to... Buy one of these bad boys yourself. We're looking into the options, so get excited for that. Right, see you next week. Touch, touch, touch.